All right, today we're looking at placing a trade on JD with an expected return of 25.5%. I found this trade by looking at the expensive options or the best options to sell scan on the PA terminal. It is currently rank two on this list. If we come in here, we can hop back over to that dashboard and we can see it has this very expensive rating right now. Price change today is just 0.2% so far, which we'd like to see, especially given that the implied move is significantly higher than this, right? If we come down here, you can see the implied daily move is 2.78%. We're forecasting about 2% a day, and our probability of profit is sitting at about 82%. Now, something to note is that when we're tracking the option premiums over here, you might look at this graph and say, oh, well, the option premium is actually quite low relative to the past right now. But what we need to note is the absolute value here, right? The option premium is currently sitting at 35%, meaning the implied volatility is 35% higher than what we're forecasting, meaning the room for us to profit on average, if our forecast is correct, is 35%. Now that's a huge number, right? That's much higher than what we would expect on average for selling volatility. And that's why it's one of the tickers that we're looking to add to our portfolio. Now, something else I like to always look at quickly here is this back test. And I like to see a back test that has these positive returns. Now, when you look at this back test, at first you might think to yourself, well, this is a little bit iffy, right? We have these periods where we make lots of money for extended periods of time. But then in not that far back in history, we have this period where we've lost significant money. But we need to remember that this is the way that option premiums work. It's gonna be quite rare that we see a, you know, an entire one year period where it is just smooth sailing up and to the right the entire time. We will have these periods of making lots of money and losing lots of money. And then we look for these ones where throughout all these periods, we have a positive return. And then what I personally look for is I want to be on that upswing right now where we are in a period where that risk premium is showing through. We are not paying out for it. So if this graph ended here, right, if it ended like this, I wouldn't be taking this trade right now personally, unless there was a good, uh, you know, extenuating circumstance to do it. Because I would say, well, you know, there's been a risk premium historically. We can see it's still positive. But as of right now, realized vol is outpacing implied. But since we're back on this upswing right now, it's one that I'm willing to take. So what we're going to do now is just take a quick look at what our entry prices and everything should be. Now, remember, this is assuming that we're trading exactly 30 days, which you'll see it's not exactly that, but it's close enough. So we'll still be able to use these numbers, generally speaking. You can see we have about a $2.50 entry point with a 25% expected return. Here's where we'll take profits. And we're basically putting our stop loss at a 100% loser. We need to give ourselves some room for this position to move around. Uh, let's see if there's any news quickly here that we should be aware of, right? Obviously, this just seems like there's the basic sort of news going on here, similar things as what we've seen in the past. If we come over here and we take a look at the price chart, it's the last thing I usually like to take a look at. We can see this thing has gotten smoked in the last couple of years, right? In the last year, this thing is just going down Right, we're down maybe you know 50% in share value here, um, but then we've chopped around this sort of like within three dollars uh, over the last couple months, and that's what we're going to hope to continue here. Given that it's been on this downtrend, I'll probably structure it to the downside. So if there's a 25 and a 26 strike, which there is, I'll use the 25 strikes, give us a little bit of that negative delta exposure right off the bat, but obviously not so much that we need this thing to go down for us to make money. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this trade here. So I've already got the option chain open for JD. And let's see what the liquidity is like on the Feb 9th, actually. It actually doesn't look bad. Um, if we come over here, let's see. Right, we got five cents here, three cents here. And then if we come here, we have six cents here, five cents here. So we could go with the Feb 9th and be really accurate with our 30 days, having 29 days of, till expiration instead of 36. It'll cost us a couple pennies. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with this expiration here. So let's go ahead and structure this out. So the 25 strike, right? Remember, we're going to be a little bit below. Uh, so it's at 2540 right now. It's gone up a bit since I did my analysis, but we'll still go ahead with this. Let's keep it to the downside a little bit here. Um, and then let's aim for a fill at, uh, let's say two. 55 or 256 something like that and we'll start off with one lot I'm probably gonna add a couple more but let's just do this see where we can get a fill to start off to 
256. Let's go 253. Nope. And we might as well just hit the ask here. It's whatever. All right. Cool. So we're getting a fill at 250. On paper here, we were supposed to get a fill at roughly, I believe it was 254. So we lost four pennies there relative to what was forecasted for us. Um, but we're still able to play with these sort of similar uh, expectations here, especially since we went with that 29 DTE instead of the 36. You'll notice here if we went with the 36, um, we're basically getting an extra 20 cents of premium here uh, for another seven days of holding. Uh, it would have been fine. I would have used the same expected return value that we see here. I would have just uh, adjusted it for getting a, a higher fill than the $2.54. All right, so that's the trade. I'm going to post it up in the community now. If you have any questions about it, feel free to hit me up and good luck, everyone. Take care.